All right, boys and girls, this is Benjamin Bakchoy. Welcome back to episode number 10 of our Williams F1 Manager 2022 playthrough. Uh, if you missed the last race, well, you didn't miss much, except we hired this new guy here, Jack Doohan, uh right before the British GP. I didn't even realize that we fired Latifi right after the Canadian GP. So um, today's race is not brought to you by Mountain Dew Kickstart because I didn't have any today. I'm trying to go easy a bit on the caffeine and sugar just because my sleep schedule has been kind of screwed up. But you better believe that once I go back to work, I'm going to be jumping on the Mountain Dew train again. Let's see. What is this? David Weeder. His morale is low. What can we can we do anything? Facility bonuses contract well sorry David Weeder head of aerodynamics you know what Let, let's see if there's anybody out there that might be a little bit better David Weeder is a 72 Pascal Garcia, Salim Ndongo. All right, so there are three free agents here. Thierry Druet is also free as well. You know what? I might just go and... I might just go and hire this guy. I don't know how much Weeder is getting paid, but... We'll see if this guy will go for two million starting two million two million per season and then starting bonus of two hundred K. Let's just see where this goes. Good. Damn, not good. Okay, so salary is a little low. Patience is high. Let's just go three mil. All right. We're upgrading, upgrading our staff. So head of aerodynamics now is up two years. I think our race engineers are okay at 77. I don't think, I'm not sure who else is available. Yeah, it looks like everybody that's better is already hired to other teams. But let's take a look at the technical chief. We have this T Chuang guy. Can we steal any of these guys? Oh, we can steal Simone Resta from Haas. 51 years old. And 80. But T. Chuang is a 78. What is our guy? A 74. You know, we'll stick with him for now. Let's take a look at our drivers to see if they have any development points. No, no development points right now. What are we working on in our facilities? So we have. Uh, team hub and design center. We also have 13 million dollars left. Let's see What do we have for card developments we have a design and a Manufacturing do we have any hours left to Yeah, we do have some hours left Let's design a front wing. 63 days until next ATR period.
I want to make our low speed better, but then we'd have to like really not focus on other th aspects. So we'll go with this. How many engineers do we have left? We have six engineers. If we rush. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So we have a front wing coming. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. We have a front wing coming and we have side pods coming. All right. Uh, let's take a look. Two install, two in development. Four total. Yeah, we already have front wings coming. Or chassis is coming. In warehouse one. Um, let's manufacture one. Just to be on the safe side. I know we have new front wings coming, but it's okay. Two in warehouse, two installed. I'm just checking my stocks to make sure that we don't run into any issues in the next race. So next race is the Red Bull ring. Uh, funny because I just tried playing F122. Uh, okay, so we have our front wings. F122 for the first time in a week since this game pretty much was released. And um, I was so off. I just did a race at the Red Bull ring at 105 difficulty and I just could not keep up with the AI uh, just because it's been so long. Front wing manufactured, Austrian Grand Prix race review preview and welcoming Thierry Drouet or Drouet I'm assuming he's French we got practice sessions race prep yeah I don't think so what, what is our car ranking as of right now all right so pretty much the same 19th 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 15th 12th 19th 13th, 19th, 17th, 12th, 17th, 17th. Should we spend this? Yeah. We best start upgrading our facilities. We'll make money back after the race anyway, and I don't think we're planning on spending any money um, from now until the end of the race. So on we go to the Austrian GP for the weekend. Uh, we don't need to see the intro here. All right, so it looks like we're going to have moderate rain on Saturday. Take a look at this car setup. Okay, that looks pretty much in the middle. I need not even explain what we're doing here as you've probably seen this already this is a bit of an odd either really to the left or really to the right there one two three four five okay so we are ready to go into FP1. I'm glad to see that Jack Dewan actually did better than Nicholas Latifi has at uh, almost every single race that we've done so far. So I'm hoping that we can continue that along into the Austri Austrian Grand Prix here. All right, so we have the feedback from Jack. Something feels off. That's what I figured. Everything was really far. Oh, I totally missed that. I didn't even see that. Okay. All right, let's give that a shot. Did we even get all five feedback? All right, so we're not completely off. Let's try that for Alex. Okay, so both Jack and Alex are back. All right, we'll give that a shot. How's Alex looking? Perfect, actually. Maybe we'll give this a shot. So yeah, like I was saying, I just tried playing F122 again for the first time in a week since this game came out. And uh, I actually set a new PB at Zandvoort trying to 
do the qualifying for the weekly event. Um, I didn't actually set my PB in the weekly event qualifying. I did it in time trial. Uh, but when then... Oh, that's the end of FP1. Then when I went in to do like Grand Prix races, I just couldn't keep up with the AI, but um, actually drove pretty well in time trial as Zamvort and Imola. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Duan actually set a pretty fast, quickest lap on the hard compound tires and barely got beaten by Alex on the softs. I don't really understand that. He's seven overall points lower and he's driving much better than Latifi and driving a lot closer to Alex. So I don't really know how that kind of works. But we will continue on into FP2 for now. Nope, nothing changed yet. And here we are, FP2. Radio check. Oh, we got a VSC now because of a crash. Let's take a look to see who's involved. Oh no! And there's the crash. Ooh. Mark my words, there'll be questions asked about that later. Well, that <laughs> shades of 2019 Ferrari, eh? Leclerc and Vettel going at it. Alright, so Jack says the car feels pretty good to him. Got a couple more laps until Alex comes in. Let's take a look. All right, um, let's see if we can. All right, so I move cornering to the right a little bit and braking stability to the left a little bit. Everything else is pretty much the same. So let's see if that affects that uh, those that setup confidence much at all. Alex should be coming in in a little bit. Virtual safety car still going on for Leclerc and Vettel's incident. I gotta upgrade Albin's uh, engineer's setup feedback attribute. All right, so what are we looking like? Okay, great, great, good, bad, optimal. So traction, it's gotta go that way a little bit. All right, let's give that a try. All right, so Duan just came back in. We have optimal, good, unknown, and great. All right, we'll try that out. Looks like we're going to have to replace Albin's engine soon. All right, so we're at great, good, unknown, great, and optimal. Okay, we'll go with that. All right, so Jack doing tops Albin in that free practice. We're heading into Saturday now. Looks like there's going to be a little bit of rain in today's forecast. Let's go take a look at his car parts. Yeah, why not? Let's replace it. ERS and gearbox still look good. Uh, let's take a look at his engine is still good. I'm assuming his engine's going to drop below 50% during the race. What do we got here so far? Nothing. Okay. Since Austria is such a short lap, we'll make them go 25, uh, 25 laps. It seems like they keep coming in early before their actual Feedback is Radio done. Check. Copy. Radio check. All right, we'll send them out. All right, so Jackie Boy says the car feels great. That's a good sign. Let us take a look. Great, good, good, great. All right, we'll give that a shot. If 
that doesn't work, then we know we have to go to the opposite direction. But at least we're good and above in all five categories there. Okay. All right, so set up confidence, great for Alex as well. Great, great, good, great, great. Well, no, it'll probably be this here. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh boy, Vettel crashed out of practice again. Good thing though is Vettel actually survived this time. I think he ended up having to bring the car in last time. All right, so Jack's actually closed the gap up a bit. Just a little under a tenth off now. Although Alex is still improving his time. Just barely. Now about two tenths faster than Jack. So it does look like we're faster than the Aston Martins and... Oh, okay. All right, so... And we're faster than Mick Schumacher. Jack's done with his setup now, or his feedback. Let's take a look. Great, 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 great. Okay. Well, I'm assuming we'll have to go that way because the optimal zone is left. All right, let's see if we, we are at 92 right now. So let's see if we can just kind of get those last few percentages in. I'm hoping we can do a little bit better than um, Jack with Alex. So we're just about a second off with Alex and then about a second and a half with Jack. We got Guan Yu Zhou right in the middle there. What are we at? 86. All right. I don't think we're going to get the feedback from that in time. We might just risk it. We're going to be finishing outside the points anyway. We might just risk it. Okay, so that is it for FP3. We're going into qualifying now. Alex was faster by four tenths, but still the Ferraris, Red Bulls, and Mercedes topped the timing charts there. Performance bonus only 5 out of 15 and 14 out of 15. All right, let's go into qualifying. Grid penalty uh, probably for the engine, I think. All right, let's go. Let's go into qualifying. We've got plenty of tires. I think we got four sets of softs. Check. Right, yes, four sets of softs. So we're just going to send them out and see what they can do. Put a little bit of space in between them. Q1 here. Watch somebody jump out right as we cross the finish line. Oh, perfect. Okay, nice. So we'll get our, our first run in pretty cleanly. And what is it? 105.2 and a 105.4. Okay. Not that great. Not that great. 105 flat from Ocon, which isn't that great either. Might as well use our tires. Um, so it takes just about a minute. I think we got plenty of time to send them out here. Yeah, we'll send Alex out. We'll send Dewan out. Magnuson comes out. Signs comes out. No traffic in front of us, which is good. Oh, Jack's going to run into some traffic, but hopefully it'll be on this straight. Nope. No improvement.
Vettel seems to have been really caught up in traffic. He's eight, eight seconds off the pace. All right, so we'll put him on there. Third sets of softs. We got plenty of time here. It takes about a minute to get around the track. So we will wait until maybe about 2.20, 2.30, and then we'll send them out. Although we might get stuck in traffic then. I might send Jack out first just to make sure that he gets... Okay, there we go. Jack comes out. Alex comes out. Behind Joe Guan Yu. Take a look at their... All right, let's see if Jack can improve at all. So if, for those of you that aren't familiar with F1, yellow on these sector, I guess, lines means that they're slower than their personal best. Green means they're better than their personal best. And purple means that is a, a sector best or, or, or just uh, best out of the grid. Or fastest overall, I should say. All right, so Jack goes faster than his personal best. Sector one. I don't see one for Alex. Jack goes sector two, personal best. Uh, Alex is slower in sector two. I, I didn't see his first sector. Jack sets, okay. So P13 so far. P9 for Alex. Can we do this? Can we actually do this? Can we get out? We're on board with Gasly right now. Gasly, Russell, Stroll, and Vettel. Russell about to finish. About to cross the finish line here. Coming into the final few corners. Russell is going to definitely get out of there. Yeah. Okay. So Jack got kicked out. Gasly improves. Oh, Alex Alvin advances into Q2 for the first time ever. First time ever. Jack Dewan, not a bad P17 either, either I should say, uh, for, uh, oh shit, yeah, that's right. We're, we're carrying this grid penalty anyway, but Jack Dewan P17 in front of the Aston Martins. Um, Alex P14, barely making it into Q2. Ah, nice, nice. So our our little adjustment at the end did work. Uh, before qualifying, his highest confidence setup was only an 87, I believe it was. And the we did take a gamble, and we ended up going to jumping up to a 93. Now, we only have one more brand new set, so I might have him go out on two scrubbed sets. It's a short lap, so we should be able to get in three runs here in Q2. Estimated cutoff time, three tenths. So we're three tenths off, but track is evolving and it should be faster in Q2. So we'll send him out on a scrub set for his first run. We'll send him out on a scrub set for his second run. And then we will put him onto the um, brand new set right at the end. We don't really need to watch this. He's on old tires now anyway, so it's not going to be a um, quick lap. Plus, he just got caught behind K-Mag. Although, we were faster than Bottas. And Magnussen. All right, so we'll put him on... Uh, what's the next best? 94. Okay. 94. Send him out again. Oh, my goodness. Are we going to make it into Q Q3? It's raining now. We, we might just make it into Q3. Yeah, there's two millimeters of rain now. Oh my goodness. The Alpines are going to lose out here. Perez is going to lose out here. Russell is going to lose out here. Sainz is going to lose out. Okay. So we are... Hang on. I got to pause this right now. We are on... We are in... Yeah, it's going to be Inter's weather for the rest of Q2. We might just make it 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We might just make it into Q1. We are totally off the pace, but we might actually make it into Q1, which means our five place grid penalty will at the very least still put us in P15 if we qualify P10 in Q1. All right, so Alex comes out. I don't think anybody's going to be improving here. It's just, I mean, there's not a whole bunch of rain on the track. But uh, everybody's on inters right now. And there's no way they're going to be improving times. Yeah. Wow, so Sainz, Alonso, Gasly, Russell, and Ocon all miss out on Q3 because they waited too long to do their first run. Perez barely made it out as well, and so did Leclerc. Look at them. They're five seconds off the pace. Magnussen must have gone out. Actually, I think I think Magnussen went out the same time we did, and we were still faster than Magnussen. Same as Bottas. So luckily for us, we went out right away. Look at this. Yellow first sector. Yellow second sector. Boys and girls, we just made it into Q3. Definitely not off of pace, but I will take it. So take a look at that. We are very much off the pace. I'm just putting my pop filter on right now because I can hear it. I can hear my peas exploding in the microphone. All right, so boys and girls, we have made it into Q3. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Looks like it's going to be clear for the... Well, actually, no, that's just the race. I don't know what it's going to look like. And the good thing is we were able to save that brand new set of softs. And now we have an, an extra brand new set of softs. But I might save that... I might just do one run on a scrub set and then one run on this new set and save this for the race because I don't have any new sets of softs anymore. We used all these in, well, I think we used this and this in practice. So, all right, so scrub set it is still 94%, so it's not like it's a terrible set. <clears throat> and then, well, depending on how much time we have. All right, so there's no no uh, rain on the ground right now. Send out. I thought I sent him out. Radio check. Copy, radio check. No rain on the ground right now. We might be able to get three laps in, actually. No rain expected. No rain expected. Thank you. Copy. I don't know why you're telling Jack. He's still in the pit lane anyway. Ah, oh, crap. We're going to get caught in traffic. One oh five three, that's worse than our qualifying time from Q one, I think. Then again we were on a scrub set. Faster than Balt Bottas and Hamilton, whom I believe got caught in traffic. Alright, so I don't wanna risk um running a third time, so we're just gonna wait here until our last run. I mean we might be able to end up in P8. We could be faster than Sunoda, Bottas, and Magnussen. Everybody else, though, I think definitely has the pace on us. So I did put him on the new softs. Yes, I did. Okay. So 
So we'll wait until about 2 minutes and 30 and then we'll send him out. Okay, let's go. All right, we came out right in front of the Ferrari and Red Bull. Which is good because now everybody will be behind us as well. So if we have a bad lap, they they will all probably have a bad lap as well. So Sunoda jumps us. Uh, Ricardo's right ahead of us. Oh, actually, we, we set the same exact time as Ricardo did. But anyway, so here we are on our warm-up lap right now. I probably could have waited a little bit later to send us out. Here we go. Come on. Personal best first sector. We want to see green right here. We don't see anything. First sector should have ended right about here, right before the turn two at the top of the hill. All right. Personal best second sector should be right about here. All right, we got a green. And personal best, last sector. Let's jump up this one, two, three, four. Okay, so we did improve a little bit, but there are still a whole bunch of cars behind us. Wow, it's P5 still. P6, Hamilton. Yeah, I expected that. Okay, so we ended up P9 uh, after Q3. That is an astonishingly good qualifying for us, even though it definitely wasn't off a of pace. Although we weren't that far off of Haas or McLaren or or the Alfa Romeos. Three tenths off of yeah, three tenths off of Bottas and Ricardo. So. We are going to be dropping back to one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Down here, P14. So, here we are, folks. We're back for another. Not a bad qualifying. Back. It's race day. Qualifying went well for Williams, as attested by their strong position on the grid. Yes, now, it did. All about finding that edge for the race itself. Pass proved quite resourceful during qualifying. That puts them in a very good position to make the most of this race start. And the sun is shining bright here today. This is perfect weather for teams and drivers alike to show us what they're capable of. And Austria is always full of surprises. So who knows what lies in store here at the Red Bull Ring. All right, so it's a bit of a shame that we chose this race of all races to put on the new engine as Alex Albin qualified p9 so we uh what is the grid um we don't have the grid quite yet qualifying position ninth but we're not starting ninth we are starting uh, 14th, I believe it is. So let's take a look at this. Oh, easy mediums to softs. Can we even do, I mean, mediums to hards. Can we do softs to hards? Yes, we can. Easy softs to hards. Let's do that. And then for Alex, same thing. Let's just do softs to hards. Soft mediums? You know what? Okay, let's do a softs to mediums for Alex. And we'll do softs to hards for Jack. Okay, 
Yeah, starting 14th and starting 17th. So, you know what? We did have pace, but we did get into Q3 only because of the weather. So, um, I don't know. We could... They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. All right, enough of that. It's Let's get to the five red lights. For. It's the Austrian Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. Let's see, overtake. Yes. Let's see if we can gain some positions right on the start here. While other teams are fighting. All right, we just took uh, Joe and Esteban Ocon. Or we... Oh, Joe, I'm sorry. Who did we just overtake? Uh, Joe. All right, let's go easy now. Easy on the tires since we are... Doing jump stuff a few positions as well. Now in P15. Starting this race off pretty well, actually. Got a bit of fuel here to burn. I think if we play our cards right, we're only a few positions away. There is a bunch of slower cars in the top 10 via the, the weather in Q2. So uh, these guys, Alonso, Russell, Perez, will be fighting through the grid. And there will be a bunch of slower cars in front of them. So hopefully we can conserve a bit for now. As you can see, Joe's see dropping out behind DRS outside of DRS I should say can Jack take that position is he on the hards yeah Joe is on the hards all right now let's hold cars back did we just did we just hit just gained by Williams Oh, okay. I was like, did we just hit Alex? Maybe don't hold cars back. Continue to fight a bit. Just don't attack Alex. And then up here. So what DRS? Okay. All right. We're already losing positions. Or we're losing time to the cars in front. We just don't have the pace. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. It does look like Alex is able to stay out in front of Joe, though. Courtesy of doing, kind of keeping Joe back a little bit. Uh, we've caught back up to the this pack right in front of us, being headed by yuki um yuki is the last points position there perez and leclerc pushed up magnuson starting to drop back now as well so if we play our cards right we might be able to do this Alpine just advanced. so okan just jumped joe and doing and we now might have to worry about be, um, the cars behind us. But we do still have DRS, and there's a three-car train out in front of us, so we can afford to harvest a little bit here, and then maybe later start to push a bit. Looks like other teams are going mediums and hards. We need to make the best of these soft compound tires while we have... Uh, the advantage here. All right, we've harvested enough there. Doing, I think, can afford to harvest because he's right behind Joe and Ocon. Can we make a position here? Are we expecting rain? No, we are not. Oh, 
did someone run wide there? All right, so the worst thing that can happen to us right now is to have Okan get um, come up r behind us and then start fighting with us as well, and then we start losing even more positions. But it looks like Sonoda is holding these guys back. And Perez isn't even really that far ahead of Sonoda, just four seconds. Can we overtake one or two of these guys if I go aggressive with that? Sometimes I see the battling and I'm just like, there's room on the inside, just dive bomb down the inside. But the uh, mechanics just don't work that way, I guess. Even though there's a big, huge spot to, to dive the car down the inside, they just don't do it. Can we overtake here? Yeah, some and sometimes like the cars just stop in the middle of the grid like that. I don't really understand that. All right, let's take a look at tire wear. Eighty percent softs to eighty-six percent mediums. Not terrible. All right, let's go into big picture now. Multiple cars crashed ahead. Oh no! Oh no! Safety car. Safety car. Um, Delta positive. when are we supposed to be coming in? No, this is way too early. If we stop now again, no, we can't. All right, we can't come in. DRS is currently disabled. DRS is currently what this does help us with, though, is tire conversation conservation. Uh, now we can extend these softs a little bit and then go on to the mediums and then have the mediums last until the end of the race. So what you want to do, what we want to do now is conserve everything across the board. You would think that during safety cars, the cars would just automatically go and conserve ERS, but that is not the case. So looks like Magnuson and Perez are out. I thought I saw McLaren in the middle of that but i guess not so that's two two or, or one faster car than us and one that we possibly could be faster than sounds like someone's locked up joe and joe locked up now he's dropped back a whole bunch of positions so we have okan behind us we have doing behind him and then we are one position out of the points yuki who was holding up the train in front of us we might actually score a point here. I just jinxed, jinxed myself, I think. All right, so we'll keep conserving until safety car comes in. Probably this lap here. Safety yep, car safety car coming in. All right, yep, let's copy. go back to standard. And let's go back to balanced. Happy to increase pace. Yes, okay. And maybe we'll stay on board with Alex here for a little bit just to see if he can overtake Yuki. I don't want to have Duan start holding cars back because I also want him to try and take some positions. Come on, let's get in front of Yuki here. Someone's run wide. Schumacher, that's behind us. That doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't, I don't see. I don't understand that. There was plenty of space. On the inside of Yuki there. Okay, we can afford to push with some fuel again. I want Duan out in front of Okan right now so that he can uh, defend our six. Can we overtake now? Alright, 
well, no chance in passing in the last half of this track, so no point in pushing with the battery. I wonder if these cars are on a one stop or two stop. Are they going medium soft softs or medium hards? All right, so we should be able to get him now since he's outside of DRS of the car in front. There we go. All right. We'll continue pushing on the fuel. And look at that. Russell's not even that far ahead. And there's an overtake from Williams. Here's yeah, why not? Let's watch it. Now watch this. Here's the moments involving Albon. It's just a DRS pass anyway. Moving up a place there. Excellent work from him. Let's watch our boys celebrate. I'm clearly loving that. All right. Okay, so we managed to make it up to P10. Oh no, Jack! What did you just do? Seems to have been a lockup. Let's see what happened there. Now let's look at this. The focus on Sonoda. It's a lockup, and that could be costly. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then Jack just sits in the gravel pit. Really disappointed with that. Jack, 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 Jack. That's so Latifi-esque. Well, now Jack is three seconds behind everybody else. All right. Let's go big picture again for now. Ocon is right behind us and just took that position. Luckily now... Oh, okay. We just took that position back from Ocon. Luckily now... Mick is really far back, so we really just have one person to battle with for this last points position. Can Jack f catch back up to the pack? New position just gained by Williams. Maybe have Alex start sitting back and harvesting battery for a little bit. Will we lose too much time if I sit That's back for too long? Okay, so now we are in our pit window. When were we supposed to go? 31. Or Jack was 27. Let's go to lap 28 with Jack. Okay, is Ocon going to start pulling out now? And go push, go push. Go ahead. All right, so 1.5 behind Ocon. Can we catch back up is the question. What are we at now? Lap 28? Okay, we'll bring Jack in. Go on to the hards. Signs. Oh, where did signs come from? Is that a lock up? <sighs> Jack. Okay, he's a rookie. I gotta remember that. He's a rookie. He is a young driver. And he he can't be any worse than Latifi. I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to look at it. Okay, have we caught back up? We are now P3 at the moment. And there's an overtake from Williams. Is this a safety car? Oh, that would have... Oh, no, that was Jack. I was like, that's perfect time to pit. All right, so Alex is about to come in. So we might as well push what, what did I want to do softs to mediums yes uh, box this lap okay box box
Yeah, I'm just having I'm having him kill his tires now. We're going to come in for the mediums. Oh, we just got passed by a whole bunch of people. Down to P15 now. How is that possible? Ah, okay, so other guys haven't pitted yet. So now we're P14. We have Ocon and Alonso, Bottas and Ricardo. Ah, oh, man. What happened? This happens all the time. I'm so close to the points, and then I jump into the pits, and then all of a sudden we're so far out of the points. How does that happen? So you know it is 13 seconds behind. Jack is four, five seconds behind. We're focusing on Alex now. We were literally P11 before the pit stops. Joe hasn't pitted yet. Gasly hasn't pitted yet. Okay, Norris hasn't pitted yet. All right, all right. That's what I'm missing here. I was about to say, how, how is that possible? All right, so we are still close enough behind Ocon for now. I'm going to push on the fuel a little bit to see if we can get back to within DRS. And then hopefully once these other guys start pitting. All right. Now we are back to P11. There we go. One and a half seconds off of Ocon at the moment. 45 laps um, gone by. About 25 like laps left to go. Just Stroll and Doohan, after doing spin, now fighting with Stroll. Not really focused on that right now. Uh, I know it's not good to just focus on one driver, but we are so close. What is the tire? We're at 72 and 83. Can we deploy a bit to catch up? Uh, nope. Check the DRS. We are already out of battery. So we will have to rely on fuel at this point. Yellow flag. Turns out to be nothing. Yellow flag. Nothing. Looks like there's been a Stroll. Ah. Okay, so we're back to within about 1.5. Joe, uh, he's behind us. Let's harvest some battery. Are we going to fall too far back? Yeah, it looks like we're going to fall too far back. Two seconds outside. What can we do? We don't have anything in the car to do anything. 20 laps left to go. Let's see if Alex can just come back on his own. I really wish Dewan did not spin. Although he has worked his way back up to P16. And there's an overtake from William. Yep, Dewan just overtook Vettel. Now we're at two and a half. Sector two, blue flag. Oh, not blue flag, yellow flag. For Stappen running wide. Let's take a Is look this the crash? Play. Now here we see Max Verstappen. Oh dear, oh dear. That's far wider than they would have wanted. Hey. He came out right in front of my boy. But we do have a crash. It did say that there's a crash on track. We have a safety car. No safety car. That just Let's have a look. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. Ah, uh, car's behind us. Is that Schumacher and oh, no. Bottas? And the crash. Mark my words, there'll be questions asked about that later. Or was that Joe? Okay, well, it doesn't help us out. Schumacher gets a penalty.
couldn't tell who that was, if that was Bottas or Joe. Um, but now we are 2.7, 2.8. We should have enough, we should have enough tires to last us till the end. Can we get DRS off of Schumacher here? We did. Okay. So we closed that gap up a little bit. We do have a little bit of battery. Not a battery, but we do have a little bit of fuel here. If we deploy a little bit of battery, can we catch up? 2.1. So close. Five laps left to go. Jack, come on, man. I'm trying to focus on your teammate here. Two seconds off. I need somebody to crash. I really need somebody to crash. Two seconds off. That sounds like someone's gone wide. Gasly running wide behind us. It's all cars behind us. Why? We need somebody to crash. Come on. We had such a good weekend. Maybe I should have gone hards for Albin as well. Can we go aggressive there? Will that do anything? Five laps left. A little over two seconds behind. I think it's just too far back. Yeah, Alex's tires are just going to burn out if I push him anymore. And we don't have any battery left. S yellow flag. Sector 2. Nothing. Sounds like a spin. Stroll. Why is it all cars behind us? Yeah, see, if I try to harvest battery, then we're just... And then the battery just runs out so fast. Oh, man. So close. So close. <laughs> Again, we were so close to points here. Jack had a pretty decent race, though. I mean, other than the crash, he did manage to come back to P15 again. He might have been able to help us if he didn't gone wide on turn four there. Now he's stuck behind the two mercs battling for P4 and P5, so he can't even make any moves. Verstappen spin on turn four. Yeah, I think this is the start of our last lap here. Okay, you're starting the final lap. And that's it. And that and is right, it, guys. First, we were so close to scoring another point there. But the car is progressing. Or I don't know if it's the car or not, because I don't think I've put any upgrades on it recently, but... P11 for Alex, matching his personal best again, yeeting the shoulder rest. Oh, okay, well, there was a point about up until about the pit stops where I thought that we might have been able to score a point there. 
I probably should have managed the ERS a little bit better because towards the end we just didn't have any battery to really to fight with. And perhaps I probably should have gone with the hard tires at the end because he started just running out of battery, running out of tires, and on the only thing we really had to fight with was fuel. But that's fine. <sighs> Imagine if we started P9 where we actually qualified. I think we would have probably would have made it able to hold on and score a point there. Um, but I guess it just wasn't to be. Jack Dewan gets one development point. And we make a cool three million dollars. I think Alex gets his bonus because he finished higher than P15. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for that race. Austrian GP almost scoring a point there once again. Pretty good drive from both of our drivers. Alex uh, just one position out of the points. And Jack, even though he spun, didn't make uh, his way back up to P17 or P no uh, P16 with the DNFs. So that was pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to eat your bok choy. If you think I've earned it, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.